Okay. Okay, okay. Slightly better. That's fine. It's slightly better. Uh, we'll work with this, I guess. Okay. So. Hey. Hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello, everybody. This is. Uh, I never done this before. Are we? Are you recording this? What's going on? Yes, I'm recording this. It's a. It's like a podcast, basically. Oh. Oh, okay then. Other. All right then. Hello. Are we recording? Is it recording right now? Yeah. Yeah, it's recording right now. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. I, I, I should have been more professional and let you know of this beforehand. I mean, okay, when have we truly been professional with each other? Like, uh, I don't know. We were, <laughs> we were, ki okay, we were kind of professional at first, right? We, we were like, but only kind of. And then later yeah. it's just kind of like, you, you try to keep up this like professional persona or whatever, mm -hmm. but it doesn't, it doesn't work out. So you're just. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Who cares? But hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to this little podcast recording, whatever thing it is. Um, I'm here with. I don't even know how you pronounce your name. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just Alan. Alan? Who cares? Yeah. Okay. That's me. And he. That's me. He is the voice of Nicholas Wild, um, of yeah. the of the world we knew. So, introduce yourself. Hey, uh, like uh, yes, I am voice man of Nicholas. I do voice. Uh, names. Uh, my name's Alan, as uh, he just said. I, uh, uh. <laughs> I do stuff. <laughs> Wait, no, it's just well. I mean, how do how else do I introduce? I I I speak three languages, ladies. In case you want me, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to say? How do I introduce um, myself? Okay, let's I'm an let, alleg let's just start off with like a, a like a question of your you know your background. Yeah. Um, where where did you grow up? I, uh, you chose the hardest question for me to answer, and you'll see in a second, because I will answer it in the simplest way I possibly can. Oh, trust me, I, so, wrote, I wrote in down questions, asked by other people, oh. um, to ask you later in the recording. Okay, okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. Um, so, where I grew up, uh, so... <laughs> I was born, I was born in France, uh, oh. I was, well, yeah, I, I was born in France, I'm French, but I didn't stay there for, two, stop opening the, sorry, I have dogs in here, they keep opening the door, um, they, uh, I, I, I was born in France, but, uh, I was, I, I was only there for about two or three years before my parents moved to the U.S., ah. And from yeah, and from there, my sis my sis my sister was born. But, but here's another but: we only stayed there until I was about six or seven years old. So then we go we went to Mexico, and from there, <laughs> and from there, my parents uh, got divorced? Question mark. Not really. That's another story. <laughs> Uh, but I stayed in Mexico for about a year, and then I went back to France for one year, <laughs> and then back to Mexico, uh, and that's when, uh, and that's where I stayed, just, uh, in Mexico is where I stayed for the most part, although I just recently went to France again to do some studies, and now I'm back in Mexico, and that's how it is. So technically I grew up in Mexico. But the first eight years of my life have been a disaster, so ah, you take okay. that as you will. Okay. Um, so I'm guessing these three language, languages that you can speak are English, French, and Spanish? Uh, yes. 
Ah, okay. That is yeah. nice. Um, yeah. Let's see, another question. Um, what other... What? Hold on. This is one of the questions that I wrote down. Um, That's good. No, I don't think not. Um, so, Mike, another question. Um, what other voices have you done? Sorry, you, sorry. I, uh, you said what? How many? What other uh, like voice acting jobs have ah. you done? Uh, I've done uh, I've done a couple. Some of them have gone to light, fortunately. But uh, as far as I know, uh, the total amount of projects that I've actually succeeded and have become something, I think, is a total of about. I don't know if I reached the double. I think I have. I think I've reached the double digits. So like eleven or ten or eleven projects have yeah. been completed. Well, so I have worked. I have worked on a ton of other projects beforehand. It's just a lot of them don't succeed, unfortunately. But yeah, no. I uh, um, I would say that I would that I have participated in a total of like about thirty. But the ones that have actually become something is about ten or eleven. Yeah. Hmm. And this is after I've started uh this is after I've started doing it in a more professional manner back in two thousand eighteen nineteen? Nineteen. Yeah, twenty nineteen, so last year. Uh is when I started is when I tried to actually start doing uh doing it in a professional manner because that, before that I still did it but not that professionally it just kind of did it because hey it's fun why not but uh interesting so what yeah, yeah. like which what number was uh the world we knew uh the world we knew i would say that's one of my that's one of my later projects so i would say it would be like number like uh 20 like six probably out right. of all of the projects I've done, uh, out of all of the projects I've done to uh, in total, like number twenty six probably, out of the projects that I've succeeded, because hey, episode one came out, mm. uh, and see, and it seems like you're working on the others, so I'm fucking, I'm happy about that, I'm super happy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I would say that it is like number nine, ten, nine, ten, I'd say. Mm. So yeah, I, I have voice acted ever since like probably 2015 um but <laughs> i right. i never got got in a role <laughs> oh oh man but but, <laughs> but at least like during that time i've learned to like uh, kind of better my voice um uh have like a better setup for like good better quality and uh i yeah. i learned audacity a bit more yeah because that's uh, why i, I mean, record. yeah it, 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 it takes a while to understand exactly how to do things uh uh that is a way to put it like it, it, it takes a while to understand like what the setup should be and everything right um because again, it's like uh, you you say that you were doing it since, <laughs> since 2015, but I don't. Do you mean it like in a professional sense or just in general? In general, and then yeah. I start going more of a professional approach uh, earlier this year, or probably yeah. like early 2019. Hey, hey, that's nice. So we so we're about on the same boat actually. Probably. Um, yeah. Yeah, I I mean I I kinda had some roles. Um when my so I create games sometimes in my free time. And uh mm. I have a code developer. His name is Fossy Boy and uh he makes games on his own as well. And he um like around the time we were like talking um and working on games together. We, uh, he wanted me to voice, um, one of his characters, so I did, and, oh my god. <laughs> it's so horrible. I don't want to go back there. 
I don't hey. want to go back to that time. It was just unbelievable. Hey, but you did it. I did. Hey, man. It's just, well, I, I don't expect it to be good. I just expect it to, like, if you enjoyed doing it. I imagine. Yeah, I enjoyed doing it. Because yeah. I don't know what it is about. I don't know what it is about voice acting, but when you voice act, you get to become the character. And it's so wonderful. Um, you know, just doing a lot with your voice. And uh, it, I think it's just acting for me that is um, very cool. I really like acting. Mm -hmm. I've never been in, like, theater or done a play before, but... Uh, <laughs> the only thing that I come close to acting is voice acting. That's hey. all. Yeah. No way. I, I complete. I completely get what you're saying. Um, because it's like, uh, I've gone to. I have. I have gone to theater in, in high school, but that was only the last year. Before then, I would just, like, before that, I was already into. Uh, voice acting. So it's just like, so I, so like you, I was into voice. I was into acting, just not like I wouldn't actually do things that involved acting, like theater or whatever, until way later in my life. So, uh, so yeah, it's just I guess for the two of us, we enjoyed acting in the sense that we enjoyed being able to act as a completely different character in a made-up world, unlike real life, where, at least this, this is for me, I don't know if this is including you now, but for me, I like voice acting more, simply because it feels like it can be a completely different character in a unique world, while in, while in theater or just regular acting, you you're kind of limited to who you are. Mm -hmm. uh, like you can't like if you're not like there's gonna be there's gonna be certain things where it's just like obviously you can't jump twenty feet into the air and like or slash <laughs> someone's arm off or some or something like that. There's like certain things you can't do in real life. Obviously, yeah, you can't just like magically create fire and shoot it out of your hands or something. When it comes to like cartoons, it's just like. Um, you know, it, it has, how do I, how do I put this? Um, it acts yeah. like the real world, but it adds a little bit of fantasy to it. Yeah. Like, yeah. even like, even like when you learn animation, it's, uh, you know, you have to like learn some principles on how to like make it look how how it's supposed to look like um, compared to uh, you're basically trying to make it similar to how it looks to us in not in cartoons mm -hmm. <laughs> you know just us humans how like motion yeah. lighting all that stuff how that's supposed to look and whatnot yeah hey uh, okay so it was just it uh, so, something something I really love about animation that no live action can ever do is how you can express things in a very exaggerated manner while still making it look natural. Like in a, like uh for like a superhero movie for example, right? Like mm -hmm. um there, like, there's a certain like when it comes to live action superhero movies, there's a certain degree of reality that kind of interferes with the superhero persona. Right? You can't just go full on out because at 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 some point you have to change the suits because it looks a bit too ridiculous in in real life. You have to limit the powers because otherwise, how how the hell are you going to control it? How are you going to show that off in real life? Not even CGI is able to catch up uh, to uh, catch up with that thing. But if you do a superhero movie in animated form, all of that doesn't matter. You can just keep the realism and the fantasy at the highest points possible and still show off a great story. Uh, with, 
I, I, I love animation. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> I, do, I cannot, I, I cannot draw nor animate at all, but I still love it so much simply because of all the things that you can do with it. I have and, no, I have no idea how I got into animation. I just wanted to like try my hand at it, and then I yeah. start practicing a bit more. And so I'm kind of like in the. I'm I I feel like I'm still probably in the beginner level, but I don't know. I'm somewhere like between intermediate and beginner. Hey, dude, it's completely fine. You have to start somehow. You're not gonna go off becoming the next <laughs> or the equivalent of the Leonardo da Vinci or whatever. You gotta that, start off. That's art. <laughs> that's art. Well, whatever, man. I said equivalent. <laughs> I don't know what the. Maybe he did animation. I don't know. Did he? I don't know. Maybe. Well, not animation. I don't know. Like the uh, photo photosynthesis. The, 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 no, maybe, what's it maybe, called? Maybe he was secretly an animator. We just didn't know. Ooh. <laughs> Are we going to come up with like these like like fanfic scenarios where it's just like, ooh, Leonardo da Vinci in the 21st century. Leonardo ooh. da Vinci always <laughs> kissed the Mona Lisa because he appreciated yeah, like, it. Yeah, it was like, be careful, guys. He's actually a fucking raven bisexual. I don't know. <laughs> Is... To be honest, actually, I, I, think, I, think the, I think I say that as a joke, but I actually think Leonardo da Vinci might have actually been like super bisexual. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know his sexual orientation. I don't know anything about no. him. <laughs> well, now it's important. Well, now we're talking about it, so it must be important, right? So, what do you think? Did he like? Did he like women or men? Go. Uh, aliens. I well, that's fair. It is. <laughs> that's that's a good answer, I guess. Um. Here's the. Here's a strange question. Uh, yeah. Um, the Mona Lisa. Is your name <laughs> Mona or Lisa? I mean, isn't it one of those things where she just has two first names, but the the other first name, like like Paul Martin type thing. Like Martin is the last name, but it sounds like a first name, so it's like Mona Lisa. Yeah. Okay. Same thing. Okay. I mean, it's just, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know Italian culture, man. I'm going to assume that that's what it is. Me neither. Um, let me put my microphone Actually, closer to me. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Okay. Actually, there's a, there's a, I, remember, I remember seeing this freaking uh, documentary a long time ago where they were trying to decipher who the Mona Lisa was based off of. Uh, yeah, because like supposedly, because the Mona Lisa supposedly it had to be based off of like someone, right? Probably. But they couldn't find any. But they couldn't find any record of a woman that looked like Mona Lisa. But instead, they so instead they started cross referencing her face with Da Vinci's own face. They were like, wait a minute, there's a <laughs> lot of similarities here. So it's... essentially the. The theory is that Mona Lisa is a gender bent version of Leonardo da, da Vinci. Was Leonardo da Vinci <laughs> the first one to do, create gender bending? Yeah, <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna accept that theory until proven otherwise because I love it. Well then, okay. So since we got all that unnecessary stuff, it was very necessary <laughs> out the way. Time to ask you some questions by the people. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fair. Let's go. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite color? Now, before you answer this, um, people have been, we've been kind of taking a guess at what it could be, and someone said mm -hmm. teal, and I said blue. So, mm. what you, mm. what's your favorite color? I'd say that you were the closest one. Teal is not at all... It's not up there at all. <laughs> <laughs> but blue is very close. Um, this, uh, I'd say for me, I have, I have two, I, I do have two, I have, I, uh, I have two favorite colors, which sounds like a cheat, but screw you. Okay. Uh, uh, and it is red and blue. So oh, okay. you, you got halfway. <laughs> you got half. Okay. Hey. 
Um, but, uh, I was just thinking blue yeah. because of the blue bunny icon you have. Oh, uh, well, actually, well, the reason behind the blue bunny is because, so first of all, my sister drew that. Oh, uh, it's, so it's neat. Yeah, yeah no, it's it's great. I love it. And uh, so, and the the story behind that is that, uh, so when I was like two years old, I received this like plush bunny. Uh, it was a blue. It was a blue pl plush bunny. It was super. It was super neat. And somehow, that plush bunny has survived, and still is alive today. It is in my room. It is completely deflated. It has no cotton in it, <laughs> but it's still in. It's still intact. I can just imagine like a very flat bunny on the on the bed. <laughs> Or something. It's a, it's it's super flat. The only thing that is not flat is the is the head. For, because for some reason the head still the cotton in the head still hasn't like rotten away. So uh, it's just a very flat body and then a giant head. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. I mean that's one of the reasons why I love the color blue because my my blue bunny. And, uh, yeah, and red, and red is simply because I just, I, ju I just like the color red. There's no real reason why. Uh, uh, during, throughout my childhood, I would have, I, I would always be attracted towards characters that wore red. So I just assumed I like red. It was just like, I, I, ha I, I loved Mario. I loved the Red Ranger and Power Rangers. I loved Spider-Man. What did they all have in common? Red. They're red. <laughs> yeah. Can so I you, just went with that. It's just, yeah. Can you take a guess of what my favorite color is? <laughs> I'm gonna assume that it is red. No. It used to be red and black. Oh. Uh, but no. Oh. Those aren't my favorite colors. Not my Not my current favorite color. Oh, your current. If... If you can, if you can guess it right, then mm -hmm. if you can guess it right this next time, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like a reward uh, to give you. <laughs> you know what? You you just get praise. That's what you get. Uh, uh, hey, I'm good with that. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know what it is then, because all of the colors that you show for the freaking show have been red, so it's like, oh, it must be red. Um, <laughs> well, think about oh, no. my, like, me. Not the show. Mm hmm. Hmm. Here I am. Wait, hold on. I need to detect clues. I need to go through the <laughs> list of uh, evidence files I have towards you. Hmm, let's see. Never mind, nothing is loading. Uh... I'm gonna assume that it is. Let's go with a very weird color. Let's go with yellow. Yellow doesn't seem, doesn't seem no, obvious. No, I so hate yellow. Yellow. yellow is my yeah. least favorite color. Well, I found your least favorite. I did it. <laughs> well, good job. It's gray. <laughs> oh, god damn it! God damn it! It seemed too obvious too. Yeah. But that's the reason why it was obvious. It's so dumb. Uh, hate yellow so much. <laughs> why though? Why? Yellow, no, it's too it's okay. too bright, and it's so hard to see it like on the white canvas. Oh, oh, okay. Well, well, the artist, the artist's reason, which is I mean, <laughs> which is valid. Like gold is fine. Like a dirty a dirty yellow, which is probably just green, is fine. But yellow, like a bright yellow, no. He heck no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair, I guess. <laughs> uh, yellow's okay. Okay, next mm -hmm. question. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Do you like computers? Do I? I what do you mean, how else oh. am I supposed to work? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I answered that question. 
Um, yeah. Can Ni- good. Can Nicholas see without glasses? Uh, hmm. I would say he's. I mean, I would say he's farsighted. I mean, yeah, he he has trouble seeing uh, nearsighted. That's what I mean. Wait, which one is which? I have no idea. Nearsighted. Honestly. I don't know. He can't see far away, hence why he see, hence why he uses the glasses. But if you were to take away his glasses, I would say that his vision becomes blurry after like five meters. So he still has some leeway. Probably. I have no idea, honestly. He never takes off yeah. his glasses. I mean, yeah, it's like if I were to guess, right? Like it's not like he's it's not like he's blind and he needs the glasses or otherwise he can't see his hand extended away from his face, right? I would assume like five five to seven meters he can still see. Right? He can still see pretty well and then after that it's blurry. Hmm. I say meters. Do you use meters? Sure. I honestly don't know the the metric system. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Let me translate that for you in that case. Hold on. <laughs> Let me think no, about no, it. No, wait, hold on. There's like a... <laughs> I have a composition book of the <laughs> questions, and it, in the back of it, it shows me, like, the metric unit conversions. So... Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Le- length and distance. Uh... <sighs> I don't know. Um, screw it. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look. Okay. I think a meter is about a yard. Like a yard is slightly smaller than a meter. So let's just say a yard is a meter, right? So yeah, five meters. Five times three, fifteen feet for you. Wait, what? I wasn't listening. <laughs> You're talking math right now, so. <laughs> All right, fine. Jeez. Okay, let's not talk about math anymore. Man, you fine. really are <laughs> like Nicholas. <laughs> it's, I mean, there, there's a reason why I got chosen, right? Then I guess I can ask this question. Do you enjoy voicing yeah. Nicholas? I uh, Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> Actually, fun like. fact, fun fact for those who don't know, um, Alan, Alan here, um, audition, hold on, my microphone's being stupid, I got freaking, hold on, oh no, I'm sorry, my microphone does that sometimes, <laughs> um, I didn't hear you at all, for those who don't know, Alan here has uh, audition for both Nicholas and George. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, I, I remember George. So you could you could have become George, but I chose Nicholas because I don't know your voice suited him. Gut instinct for some reason. <laughs> In fact, before I, before you I know, I... before you answer the question again, um. I, I gotta keep interrupting you, apparently. Um, what about you, like, <laughs> you know, uh, imitate Nicholas right now? Or, oh, imitate Nicholas? Yeah, just become Nicholas. Or, like... <laughs> that seems kind of hard. <laughs> that seems kind of hard, considering I am Nicholas, naturally. Uh. <laughs> do, you, do you just talk with your normal voice, or do you do something with it when you voice him? No, I just talk with my normal voice. I guess it sounds different because I'm acting it while I'm doing my normal voice, but I just use my normal voice for Nicholas. Then I guess I'll I'll text you. I am. I'll I'll text you a like a line for you to do, um, and you can just act yeah. it out however you want. Alright. I don't have a very... <laughs> I don't have a very uh, low-pitched voice. My voice is pretty... It's pretty okay. I tested the line. <laughs> Even... <laughs> Alright. Alright, I see. 
I am Nicholas Wilde, the evilest mastermind ever lived! <laughs> I can't hear it. I really can't. I mean, fair enough, because I do kind of pitch the voice lines when, when you send them, so it sounds like a kid. Mm -hmm. Because something about it, it's like... Um, like, not only you, but Roberto, the voice actor of Chris, um, mm -hmm. you guys have just some, <laughs> you guys are like, you guys are adults, so it's like, yeah. um, and you guys are voicing, um, 14-year-old kids, so <laughs> I have to kind of pitch it so you guys don't have to sound like a, so you guys don't sound like adults living in child's bodies. Yeah. Uh, it's like, you could, I mean, I, I could have helped, I, I could have helped you a little bit with that, if you wanted. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm used to it. I do it all the time. Oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. Just now I feel like, kind of like, bad. <laughs> in a, in a no. sense. It's fine. It's part of the job. For me. Uh, okay. Well, as long as you don't, like, overwork yourself, I guess it's fine. But yeah, back to the question. Do you enjoy voicing Nicholas? Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy voicing myself. That's great. <laughs> it's just, yeah. I mean, voicing Nicholas is essentially the same thing as just voicing myself today. Because, well, back when I was 14, I wasn't exactly that open, but, uh, uh, but yeah, it's just like, it's basically like, what if I, today, were 14 years old again? And that's basically how I imagine Nicholas to be when I voice him. Yeah. So, it's cool. I like him. I like, I like my lad. Some... <laughs> It seems like people really like Nicholas' character, except for one person. And if you're watching this, you know who you are, <laughs> because they feel like Ni they feel like Nicholas is taking too much of the spotlight, knowing that George is like um, <laughs> the one who's in danger right now. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well. <laughs> It's not like Nicholas is going to take all the spotlight, but I guess uh, it's reasonable because I told them what's going to happen, um, mm -hmm. which I probably shouldn't, but, you know, I just, I can't help it. I like telling, I like telling God. stories. God damn it! What? Did something happen? Uh, uh no. No, uh, just just reacting to you uh, not oh. being able to shut up. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, no, not like that. Wait, that uh, sounded mean. Yeah. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> I, didn't mean, I didn't mean it like. Wait, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, keep talking. Keep talking. Okay. Um, do you relate to your character or uh, the others? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I I I enjoy. Like when it comes to Nicholas, I really enjoy him. And just just from the way that he interacts with others, it's just like, hey, it seems like the others are also very cool people that I would like to hang out with because they don't seem that bad. Uh, I, I wouldn't be able to hang out with them because I'm too old, but, you know, ignoring that age gap, it should be fine. You know, one thing I that I thought was going to happen is that, I mean, I guess it kind of, it sort of did right now. Um, that people would like Nicholas and hate George because George, like George's voice actor Josh, um, mm -hmm. the story painter, um, when he did his lines for episode one, he sound he made George sound so mean, <laughs> especially that beginning part um, when uh, Nick is like, "Ha ha, I told you it would work," and then George is like, "No, you didn't." <laughs> he gets so angry. <laughs> um, he just like seems like a rude friend to Nicholas. 
Um, I mean, if you, it's it's like, I mean, I don't. Depending on how the story goes, eventually, it could just be. It, it it could just be like a sort of like a character arc where he just slowly becomes a bit more accepting of things and stuff. It's just like uh, because I haven't I haven't read ahead, right? I don't I don't know what's gonna happen in the later episodes. Mostly because I do I don't want to spoil myself and I just kind of want to enjoy the series like anyone else. Yeah. For the first for the first time i i see that and i see that at kind of a disadvantage for voice actors because if a voice actor gets invested into a series I'm sorry what uh i said i said that was uh my microphone's doing it again uh can you hear me you yeah. can you can still hear yeah, me yeah it's good okay yep. um I feel like voice actors are kind of a disadvantage when it comes to like getting into a series that they're voice acting because when they're doing lines it's like you they know what's going to happen unless they just have a very bad memory and then when the whenever the voice out comes out and then they don't know anything I don't know yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, I mean, yeah, a little, a little bit, but that's kind of what you have to do. Um, like th that's kind of what you have to do in order to to deliver uh, to deliver a, a story in its best in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I would still say that there are certain scenarios where it it is best for the voice actor to not know the entirety of the story. Uh, because then that, they would be more, they would understand the character situation. Like if the character doesn't know the future, then obviously the voice actor shouldn't know what the future what the future is either, right? Right. Um, but that that is all. But at the same time, that's kind of hard to do because eventually the voice actor will just see what happens next, and it's just like, oh well. <laughs> uh. So, but and that that that, that that's kind of that's, that's kind of what has to happen in order to deliver an artistic product. You just have to know what's supposed to happen from beginning to end, and then try to interpret it as best uh, the best way possible. You won't be as surprised as you were before. So any moments of like plot twists or whatever won't. You might have <laughs> trouble. You might have trouble reenacting that moment of surprise like you did the first time. You can't be mm -hmm. you can't you can't be scared twice type thing. Yeah, um, and uh, and I'm a sucker for plot twists. There's going to be plot uh, twists in this ep in this series. I'm telling you that, people. Yay! <laughs> and uh, um. Uh, no, but it's it, it's it's fine. It's like um, as long as we under as long as uh, as long as as actors we understand how to act surprised without actually being surprised. Yes. It's be fine. Yeah. It's okay. Well, okay. Sh shut up, Jeep. Okay. Look. It's just like it's just like it's. I mean, I mean that's what actors do. They're supposed to be good at the acting. Totally. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not wording my words very well. I'm very bad at explaining things. But uh, I mean, that 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 that's what we're that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to just like understand the emotions of the character and represent it out loud or fucking whatever words people say. I don't know. I'm trying to reenact what my teacher said back in high school. But yeah. You know, after uh, talking about that, I kind of feel obligated to, or I'm so tempted to like go to a like a voice acting class or something. Yeah, it. But it you would know, be, it would be very good. But you know, costs money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a slight issue. Um, it's a, it's a small issue, but you know. People, you can donate money to the Kofi in the link in the description. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, here's my here's my Patreon. Here's my Indiegogo or whatever. Can you please donate money so I can do voice? 
This is great. <laughs> oh boy, what a what wonderful uh, what is it? Plug, shameless plugging. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, but yes. I'm plugging my Kofi in the, you know, in the description so people can donate money for the series because all the money is gonna go for the series, or just yeah. my animations, whatever. Yeah. Because Wait, I didn't, remember I didn't... people. Hmm. No, it's just remember people. No one in this project is getting paid yet. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No one. Yeah, this is all freelance. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and I, well, I always feel bad for that. Like I always, whenever I want to get someone, I always feel so scared to let them know that it's a unpaid thing because mm -hmm. I don't have that much. Mo I don't have that much money because people aren't necessarily supporting the series. I have like one person who is supporting the series by donating money into the Kofi. He's like my top supporter right now. And I've been doing YouTube for like, it's almost gonna be seven years in December, but, and mm -hmm. I only have like 330 subs now. Um, and I've been doing, I've been doing like content for like six years. And I'm just wondering, um, mm -hmm. if, <laughs> it sounds selfish of me, but I'm just wondering how come I haven't, um, really blown up yet after all this time. Yeah. yeah, like, even some of my friends have more subscribers than me, and, I don't know, they don't, <laughs> they don't do it's things uh that are up to date or something i don't know that are trending it's uh, uh the internet sucks that's all i gotta say <laughs> yeah it's more uh it's really it, it, doing projects or presenting work on the internet is really hard because you have to go through you have to go through a freaking forest of other people, like a jungle of other people who are trying to do the exact same thing, where it's just, they created a project, they want to show it to everyone, as much as, they want to show their ideas and dreams as much as you do, so it's really hard to make yourself stand out, and, yeah, and, uh, it's like, you know, the thing is that I don't really know exactly how to do uh, how to stand out more than the others, right? Because it's just like as much as I'm as much of an amateur as you. I don't exactly. I, I'm new to this. I don't know what exactly uh, we could do in order to make in order to make a, this show a bit more heard, more known to everyone. Uh. So as far as I have, as far uh, as far as I can do, is uh, I I do promote the show as mu I do promote the show or whenever there's an episode that comes out I do promote it try to like reach out to friends and be like hey look I did a look at the thing <laughs> uh, I participated I, I participated in the thing it's great it's like here's here's I put it on Twitter I show it to friends I go I go on Facebook show it to my family and stuff like that it's like. I, I'm I'm doing the I'm doing all I can to make sure that the show gets heard because it's just like I enjoyed it. I enjoyed working in it and I enjoy the people I work with. So it's like please support it. And although not okay, actually now that I think about it, I should probably also promote Patreon. <laughs> I, what what Patreon? Wait, don't you have wait no no like I sh I should probably not not a Patreon. But I should probably be supporting uh, payment or like uh, donations for the show. You can you can donate in the link in the description, people. There's a Kofi link there. <laughs> uh, uh, 
Yeah. No, I, I, I try to do the best I can to make it stand out. But obviously, I am just a single person. And sometimes the internet doesn't want to listen to one person. So... Yeah. But yeah. But I, I'll, st I'll still keep trying because I yeah. really... I thank you for your thing. efforts, soldier. Thank you, comrade. Uh, Commander Man. <laughs> Commander Man. <laughs> Commander Leo. Commander man. <laughs> um, let's see. What's another question? Uh, would uh, okay. How do you feel about the future episodes to come? I feel very good. Yeah, it's just like I just really like. Uh, no, I I I, <laughs> I, 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 tr I trust. I trust. I trust you. I, I trust you a lot in or, in order to do this because just like I don't exactly know where the story is going, right? Because I I, I haven't read the synopsis or anything. I I don't know where it's going, but I just knowing how much you care about the show, I can I can I can easily tell you that yeah, I tr I, I the show is going somewhere, and I'm going and I know that it's gonna be good. Yeah. Uh, episode yeah. three, like the the script is done for episode three, and that is very Nicholas base. Uh -huh. So you oh, got I, a lot to read. I read part of it. Huh? I I read part of it. I was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a lot. Oh boy. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Let me look in my journal, like the episode summaries, to see what other episodes mm -hmm. would be Nicholas base. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay. Um, episode four okay. is kind of Nicholas based too, but George is also in there. Uh, let's see. Episode seven and episode eight. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> that's like that's like one out of like the four main characters too. Yeah. Wait, is there four? Yeah, there's yeah, four yeah, main yeah. characters. And if you're thinking, ah. if you think one of them is Chris, you're sadly mistaken. Yeah. Because Chris is dead. Hey. And if you guys haven't seen the first episode, I'm sorry to spoil it. Chris dies. <laughs> Actually, I remember spoiling that for Rob Roberto, the voice actor. Um, because uh. like before, before. He read the script. Uh, when I casted him, we we were all on a call, and uh, and then it just I don't know. I was I was kind of explaining the story mm -hmm. to him, and then I told him that I I mistakenly said that Chris dies, and then I don't know. He felt some way about that. <laughs> <laughs> Chris dies. Sorry, what? I don't. I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate dying. <sighs> eh, you know. I don't know if it's. I don't know if Nick is gonna die or not. Actually, I do. I do know, but I'm not <laughs> saying. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't. Dude. I don't like it that that's a possibility. I don't know. I don't like it. it's just like I don't know if he's gonna die or not. Like, I don't... We live don't or we die. die. God damn it. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm glad that you're um you're waiting to see how the series goes for season one at least. Hopefully, I can be able to make season two because I have some ideas for season two that I can't wait to work on because oh boy okay uh yeah we have a Is few more questions yeah. left all right wait uh hold on let me wait hold on I need to check something first I might as well check something as well but my computer can't handle anything <laughs> Uh, hello? I'm still here. Yeah, okay, yeah, sorry. Alright, I'm back. What's up? Hi.
Oops, I dropped my pen. <laughs> no, no, not the pen. You're gonna make it hurt, Dad. The pen's fine. It doesn't have a life. It's not gonna die at the end of the season. <laughs> what a... That is oddly cynical for a pen. All right. <laughs> um, let's see. What other questions? What are your career plans? Did you hear that? My uh, sorry, uh, microphone. Hold on. You said what again? What are your career plans? Uh, I career plans. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Did you, did you say you wanted to I, be a, what was it, a psychiatrist or something? I forgot. Psycho a psychologist. Psychologist. Yeah. I should call it, yeah. Uh, I want, yeah, th that was like a, that was like an, it was an idea that I had in mind. Uh, and I was, and I was very serious about it until very, until very recently because, university program decided that I didn't exist and I was like oh okay cool I guess then I'm, I'm not going this year uh, uh, I know nothing yeah. about college but, uh, because I, I I'm not in college yeah uh, but uh, no I'm not yeah no but after after that debacle uh, after that debacle I had I had to talk with uh, with uh, my parents and mostly my sister and it's just like yeah I don't and, and in the end it's just like I don't in entirely know I'm not entirely sure if I want to fully commit to studying psychology because careers are hard like choosing one to do and sticking with it is not easy because in the back of your mind, there's gonna be, there's always gonna be a couple of other things. Like, wait, maybe I can also do this. Oh, trust me. Like, from middle school to high school, I just been wrestling with the thought of what I want to be: animator, game developer, voice actor, or professional voice actor. Uh, something else. Probably, yeah. probably an actor. I don't know. <sighs> I just wanted to, you know. Do something. I wanted to work in the creative field. Yeah. 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 It's just yeah. So yeah. No. So yeah. Just choosing a career is is super hard, and I still can't do it. And I'm for. <laughs> I'm supposed to. I'm. Most of my friends are already studying something, and meanwhile, I'm not doing a thing, so that's cool. So, uh, yeah, in which, in that regard, that's the reason why I try to get into voice acting more and be like, maybe I can do something with this. I know. But maybe you can't. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what's gonna happen? Uh, voice acting is not exactly a very stable job, but I, I'll I'll try, I guess. I'll see what I do. What I really want to do when I become a voice, if I do become a professional mm -hmm. voice actor, I want a studio. I want a studio. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. I want okay. a studio. I want a studio, like a little small hey. space. With my re with recording equipment and soundproof walls yeah. and just voice, blah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Nah. Yeah. That that would be cool. <laughs> I. Yeah. I uh. I, that would be. That would be really good. I move around too much, so I can't have a studio of my own. Is a thing. Ah. What do you mean you move around too much? Like I uh, not like uh, I go from like uh, I would stay in the place for a year, and then for some reason, for one reason or another, I have to go to I have to go to France, or I have to stay in the U.S. for some reason. I don't know. 
and yeah, it's just like that. That it's it's kind of it's kind of a weird thing that I have to deal with since I have parents or family in two completely different sides of the planet. Uh, so every so often it's just like, hey, do you want to come and stay here for a while? It's like, okay. Uh, what about here? It's like, oh, we found we found a thing you can do here. It's like, okay, I'll go there instead and s stuff like that. So I will walk to France. Not really. <laughs> I can't. It's just um, France is okay. <laughs> there's not there's not much to say about it. Well, there is, but eh. well, there is there is a way to get to France uh, from the U.S. You you don't even have to take a plane or a boat or not even swim. Yeah. It's called Canada. It's just... <laughs> hey, can Canada's pretty cool. I I visited Canada for two weeks. It's pretty nice. Is it cold? Was it cold? Is it cold? Was it cold? Canada. I well, I went to Canada during spring, so it was cold at the time but I it was cold uh, but I already had like some jackets and stuff like that being from France it's also pretty cold so it doesn't oh um, my god siblings <laughs> siblings <laughs> but uh oh, Canada was nice I went to I mostly went to Toronto but I also went to like the French part of Canada most like uh, Quebec uh, it was nice <sighs> it was okay it, yeah. like, I, the thing is that I, w I can't really say much about it because I was only there as a tourist. Because, and I know, and I know for wow. a fact. That I don't know why. I don't know why, but it sounds like you said <laughs> I only went there as a. I only went there as a terrorist. <laughs> um. Ah, uh, I wouldn't say that, but hey, we we can talk about that later. Uh, anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's just, it's just, I, I, I know from personal experience that a country change, uh, the, the country changes a lot when you're a tourist than when you're a, uh, a citizen. A terrorist. Because, like, shut up. I guess <laughs> 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 uh, no, just, like, being a tourist in France is awesome. Not mm -hmm. being being someone who takes trips is awesome in France, but <laughs> but being being a resident kind of is a struggle. It's okay. I know that being like, a uh, tourist in uh, New York is awful, <laughs> and probably living there too. But people get used to it. Yeah. No, I I. I uh, okay, I don't ever want to visit. To be honest, a lot of a lot of cities in the U.S. I don't care to visit. They just kind of seem lame. You know, I never, <laughs> I never knew that New York was like a big state. I mean, it's not that big. I mean, uh, obviously it's big, but I mean, like, I didn't, mm. I didn't imagine it to be big until I saw what the state yeah. actually looks like, and yeah. <laughs> I, I can't tell if it's... I, I need to see if it's bigger than Georgia, where I currently live. I mean... Uh, it's probably smaller. Like, those kind of... The, like, cities that were built a long time ago tend to be way smaller than you think. Like, uh... I'd say I'd say New York I'd say New York is comparable to Paris. Like they both seem huge, but in reality they're kinda like pretty small. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's like you, you can like it would take you a while if like if there's a straight line from one end of the city limit to the other, it would take you like a couple of hours, obviously. It would take you fucking it, 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 sorry. Freaking! It would take you like a lot. Uh, yeah, it would take you a lot. It would take you like ten hours to get to the other side. But that's very little compared to some other cities that will take you like an entire day to get to the other side. 
Oh boy, I cannot imagine walking for 10 hours straight to the other <laughs> side of a state. Yay. Imagine, great. <laughs> imagine walking from one state to another. Like for, if, just, like, for example, just walking from Georgia to California. <laughs> okay, I need, I need a reference for that. Hold on. Where is Georgia? <laughs> uh, I don't ab know where Georgia is. Above Florida, right next to the Atlantic Ocean. Oh. Okay, that makes more sense to me. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not American. <laughs> It's fine. I don't know these. Things. I'm not European, so I don't know the the PP countries. Eh, <laughs> uh, I mean, Europe has a lot of countries. Most of they're the size of of U.S. states. A lot of them, so mm -hmm. it's fine. Yeah. Honestly, the U.S. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't. Uh, I don't really imagine Europe is better. But U.S. Yeah. the U.S. definitely doesn't have things under control. Uh, in my opinion. It's yeah. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea for us to get like political right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't want to get my, political. Yeah, my yeah. Let's try, let's try to avoid that right now. But. Yeah, and I, I would say that, I, 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 although I would say this, that generally speaking, if you live in if you live in that country, you will notice its flaws way more. Oh. So you just kind of see okay. it in a bad light. It's just like, oh, like freaking mm -hmm. Japan sucks. I don't want to live here anymore type thing. It's just like people outside yeah. of Japan are like, ooh, I want to visit. I mainly want yeah. to like visit Japan because uh Te technology. It's just a bunch of technology. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess that's what makes it interesting. I, I mean, I think pretty cool. I think there's one more question to ask. I don't know. Hold on. Oh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, I think this is the last question. Was Nicholas always this nerdy? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Why would he not be nerdy? He enjoys the maths. He's actually into. I, he's, I'm just gonna, actually I'm just... he's into science, but I guess math yeah. kind of counts as science too. Math is like the language of science. Okay, now let me get into my nerd space right now. Okay, hold okay. on. Okay. <laughs> math, math is the language of science. It's the thing that allows you to understand everything. Like you go to. There is no science that does not use numbers at some point, right? Like, biology still uses numbers. It's like, you can't just cla you classify a thing, and it's just like, hey, there, what what type of animal is this? It's like, number two category. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, it, it's like you, go to, you go to chemistry. Chemistry uses even more numbers. Or, you like, know, the worst of the worst. Meters. <laughs> <laughs> Meters to yards, <laughs> meters to miles. Okay, whatever. Okay, no, shoot, sh sh shut up, dude. That metric makes more sense than than imperial. <laughs> I don't. I still don't understand why imperial is a thing that exists. I know how to <laughs> convert them by. I okay. I've learned to convert them. Like I know. I actually know how many. I actually know exact, almost exactly how many how many centimeters are in an inch and everything because I had to. Uh, but it sucks. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like the imperial system. Goo -goo -goo -goo. Like, I, I had, I had to use it at some point too. Like, yeah, it's like an inch is 2.54, it's 2.54 centimeters. A kilometer is 1.618 uh, uh, sorry, a, a mile is one point. I can't hear all this math right, right now. I know. I can't hear all this Shut math. Up. Okay. No, <laughs> no. You will. You will listen to me. You will listen to me. Be a nerd and, and freak math. out about how imperial sucks. <laughs> I don't know what imperial is. <laughs> imperial is the Amer is the thing that Americans use. Feet, yards, whatever, miles. Oh, really? 
There's an imperial. Yeah. I'm not American then. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> what about we do something so, easy like addition? <laughs> <laughs> All right then. So tell me one <laughs> one atom second plus one nanosecond. What does that add? To, what does that up to? You said one one nanosecond plus what? Plus one atta one atto second. I I'm guessing atto second is smaller than nanoseconds, right? <laughs> Are they? He won't even answer. <laughs> you're, you're triggering my brain. <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. I I know a lot of very useless scientific facts. It's, oh my god, fine. you sound like a robot right now. Hey, shut up. Don't, don't say that. Come on. <laughs> well, I mean, like, you literally sound like a robot. Your microphone. Oh. Well, in that case, it makes it better. Oh, <laughs> God. Nicholas has evolved. I, I, I have evolved. Would you like to know more about the Pythagorean theorem? <laughs> <laughs> this sounds so weird. You, you sound like a robot right now. It's so weird. Uh. Well, anyways, um... <laughs> Okay, it, we're coming to a close. Um, I I appreciate you having to be here, Alan. You robot. You robot. Yeah. Nerd. Um, we have gone for so long. I have become robot. <laughs> <laughs> I think we traveled too far in the future. Yeah, it's impressive, man. It's just it's great. I love the future, man. I I love the floating heads. <laughs> When you like, when you like, listen to the video or the audio, like on the video, you you'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Um. Okay. Well, again, thank you for your time. I will now end this video. So, uh, wait. Do you want to like shout yourself out or something? Like, shout out some social media or whatnot. Uh. Yeah. Sure. Um. Uh, if you need a voice man, there's a casting call. I go by Alanos. And if you just want to see the things I promote, because I don't post anything on Twitter, but I still have a Twitter that I promote a lot of stuff in, I go by Axe the Alanon. And, uh, that's it. Uh, th th that's, that's all I have. Okay. So that'd be great. Cool. Very cool. Be sure to uh, be sure to subscribe. Um, leave a like if you like this video. Uh, if you didn't like the video, give a thumbs down. I don't care. If you want to see me interview some more of the voice actors or any other voice actor or anyone in general, let me know. I will try and contact them. Hopefully, I won't be so nervous. And I'll see you guys on the line. Peace out.